Well, hiya, I'm uh, going to talk to you a little bit about the conclusion of the Lindome Lakes Natural Baits League. Um, really enjoyed the league. Like I've mentioned in the blogs last couple of weeks, it's been quite peggy and, you know, it's, it's you've had to duck and dive. I think I've learned a little bit about my own fishing in it. Um, there's F1s to target. They're like a bonus fish. I'd say they're anything from 10 ounce to three pound. But there's lots of other fish like skimmers and roach. So you have to almost make a decision on what sort of fish you're going to fish for. And it is quite tricky and difficult to try and make the best decision on the day. I drew peg 22 on bonsai this week. Now 22 on bonsai. If it's warm or if it's in the summer and there's some fish to the island, it can be alright. It is. It, sometimes there's a few big F1s down there. But generally speaking, it's not really up to much if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, and I was in a tough section all the way down the bank. Uh, we've been talking about sort of peg 29 and 31 uh, being a decent area. And James Dendry 29, uh, which is probably the best peg. And Craig Butterfield was on 31. So I was I felt I was up against it, to be honest. Um, I had some great anglers in the section as well. I had uh, uh, Nick Speed to my left for company on 19. Obviously knows Lindon very well. Um, it was an interesting match. Nick uh, made the right decision and targeted some F1s down his edge. But I was catching odd roach. I caught a couple of F1s early and I was catching odd roach and skimmers. I was just ducking and diving. And I needed the points. You know, I needed a top three finish really to get in the top ten. So it was like I was just trying to sort of get the best result I could. And I, I knew it wasn't fishing very well. It wasn't fishing well at all. So I... I realized that for the first time in weeks there's been some roach feeding i could see odd anglers catching a roach trying to fish uh, maggots for f1s and i thought well i'm going to target these because it's really hard there's not many to catch and i, I really enjoyed it I, I probably caught eight pound nine pound of roach just to boost like an odd skimmer an odd f1 i ended up with three f1s five or six skimmers two or three reasonable perch Odd bigger roach. I really enjoyed my fishing. Just all I tried to do is I loose fed a little bit because I felt that the falling bait all the time through the water would attract those fish. And I finished with 18 pounds and two ounces. Uh, it's a close section. I think Nick had 15 with his F1s um, and James had 21. But I was second in the section, which I was really pleased about. Uh, I felt it was a really good result. And obviously, like I said, a top three I felt would get me in the top nine overall, which it did. It did. Uh, I was finished seventh. I had 12 points. I had to miss one round. Um, so I, I had to have all my, well, I had to miss one round. I had all my five results counting. And I'd had two firsts, a second, a third, and a fifth. Fifth was last week, which I told you about. That could have quite easily been a first with another draw on another day. And I could have won it. So... I was happy to finish with how what I finished with and it was just one of those where uh, I think when there's a good frame payout, I mean I won £250 for coming 7th, like I mentioned in the blog last week, I framed in the big final of Thorn and I framed in the Woodlands Thirst Festival. Sometimes you can't always win, um, I think that's hard for a lot of people to understand, obviously like if you don't win anything maybe you're thinking oh it's disappointing because I haven't won, but I framed in all three, which I can't moan about at all. Been a great pickup. So I'll talk about the winner. James Dent won it. He started off, he had so many fish for him first couple of rounds. They came second and third. Then he came back and he uh, he came fifth or sixth in his section. And he sort of said to me, oh, oh, you know, don't know, don't know if I can do any good now. But he did three brilliant performances and won his section the next three matches, which took him as the winner of the festival. Matt Godfrey was second. He did brilliant. So two great anglers first and second. Um, the, the top nine is on uh, the Lindon page on the Facebook or Match Fishing Magazine. Uh, they're doing a piece out this week. Really interesting fishing. Different lakes used, all the rest of it. We're going to be running it again next year. Definitely. We've booked Bonsai and Laurels for all six matches and that will start immediately after Christmas. So, um, first we're Saturday in January for six weeks. So, 
don't hesitate to message us if you want to book on because we'll be taking names. Should be very, very, very good. We're going to try and limit it to about 50. So if you are interested, it is worth booking on. So, but very interesting league. All interesting fishing. And uh, I don't really know why I'm a bit lost now that I'm not going to have this little league to fish because I've enjoyed it. But I've got decoy next few weeks getting ready for the Winter League final. So what I'll do is the next couple of weeks, not going to have a blog. And then after that, I'm going to be fishing the Winter League final at Decoy. And I'm going to catch you up with the Decoy visits and the final at Decoy uh, Lakes itself. And of course, across the drains. Hopefully, Barnsley Black's going to do a little bit better than the uh, fifth or sixth we were last year, which was still good. But be nice to go a bit higher up this time. Anyway, caught you up on what's been going on this week. Take care and I'll uh, see you in a couple of weeks.